Hello, and how are you doing today? If you just answer that question, then you don't know how the internet works. Well, my name is Dubsy, and this is the very first episode of Sweater Vision. We have two very heated rivals going up against each other today. The members of NS. We have NS Astral. We have Hellbound Hyena. So foxy. And I'm not just saying that because she's a girl gamer, that's actually her name. And NS Desire. And for the other side, we have Xeno Aviator, who is the captain. Active Orbit. We have their newest pickup, Assault SD. We'll see how he does today. He has a very oh, big Assault Rifle ball. presence in his last clan. And we also have Xeno Energy. Right now, we're kicking it off. Of course, it's Search and Destroy. We're here on the map express. And if you don't know how to play Search and Destroy, then please turn this off. Because if you play Call of Duty, and if you're watching this video, you should know what it is. But on to a more positive note. We are kicking it off with Astral. It is a 2v2 situation. He picks one up in the back of the base. And it is all up to Assault SD. And as you just heard me say, he is the newest pickup to this team. Three of them run SMGs for the most part on every game mode and they needed someone with a dominant AR and right here right off the bat as I'm speaking about him he picks up the big kill making it a one on one with the girl on the team so foxy Caesar puts three bursts into her back Get ready for the next round. and he's doing him dirty on the very first round of the very first episode how are you gonna do that I mean message this guy and tell him this guy's bad. I mean, come on. Give her a chance. Let her do Search something. Let her destroy. show her skills. But no. Destroy I mean, the come on, dude. Really? Charges acquired. Anyway, we'll stick with him. We'll see how he runs this train. Because in a pre-game interview, he told me that if you can control this train at this time of the map, the whole map is yours to play with. He literally called this map his playground as long as he can get into this train safe. I mean, that is a very bold statement. Let's see if he can carry out his actions in mid-game. And as you can see, action happened down at A. Bomb has been planted. Picks up one guy. He's going to check out here. He sees a guy on train tracks. And he picks get up a two-piece for the, for the kill round. cam. But wait a second. There is no cool cam. There... Cool cam? Kill cam? I mix up my words. What the... There is no kill cam because you are not in the game. This is a pre-recorded match. I mean, I recorded it, but... Clear the objectives. You know what I mean. Stop questioning me. You're watching my video. Bomb acquired. Kick it off here with Astro. On this third round, they gotta pick something up quick. Because if you lose momentum in Search and Destroy, I'm sure you've all seen... Momentum can go a long way. And it's a 1v3. And we've already had a 1v2. He picks up this, so now it is a 1v2. And thank you for not running out back because they were they were drooling for you to come out that way so they could kill you. He hears a shot fired from up on top of the stairwell, and he actually picks him off. Quick reload, and he gets two bursts in the back. And he's gonna get his health. No, he isn't. He's gonna challenge. He's a brave soul, and he gets Good the job. kill. Get ready for the next round. Oh my God, Vondahar, what are you doing? Apparently, it's not your job, because he just got hit with three bursts from the M8. And as everybody knows, that when you play the game, by the time somebody shoots the third burst, you're probably already dead. So Vondahar, please do whatever you do and do your job, Clear because that objective. was just ridiculous. We'll kick we it off here. Bomb with active orbit he is the other pickup that they just made on team Zeno and we're going for a live listening huh guys I put some bursts into him up in the top sniping window I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna shoot on top of the there's a guy down, oh. down okay whoa no squeakers please that literally almost made my ears bleed that was ridiculous Alright, getting back to the game. It's a nice little 2v2 situation. Coming around here. Desire drops. It's up to the Xeno boys to take on the girl. So Foxy, once again, maybe she can redeem herself for what happened earlier. 
say, no, no, don't shoot me in the back. And we're going to have a confrontation right here. Hostiles. Good job, Grunts. Get and ready for the next she round. says, shoot me in the front this time. Why not? Like, you're on sweater vision because you try hard. Not because you are physically sweating so much and that you drop the controller at the most important kill of the round. Protect the objective. Like, sweater vision is about the kids who sweat so bad that it's like it's 150 degrees in their room and they don't know what water is. That's the point of this show, to show those kids. But anyway, hop on board here with Aviator. And it looks like they're just trying to pinch off this A. They know NS has been working Good so job. hard get to get their A rush the down. Round. And he picks up the last kill right there inside the train. And, I mean, I guess they've been watching NS's scrims and they have seen their A dominance and they just want to cut it off quick and clean. Search and destroy. Right now, we'll hop on board. Nice little interview with Aviator. Aviator, how you doing, my man? Anything you want to say to your fans and all the viewers? Uh, I just wanted to say thank you to my grandma who bought me this game and also my parents for not grounding me last night because I kicked our dog. I mean, he was just barking. He was like, ah, rah, rah. Whoa. I thought Orbit was bad, the but objectives. I literally have to go get a tissue now because Charges my ears acquired. are bleeding. Like, there is actually blood dripping down from my ear and it's ridiculous. These kids that are allowed to play this game. That aggravates me. But on board, once again, was Zeno's captain, and they have B secured, but Energy, he's going kill hungry right now, and he drops the bomb in their spawn. Anybody who is anybody knows that if you have any type of bomb site cleared out, you make sure to get the bomb down so something like this doesn't happen. Hopefully Assault can clutch it for his team, and he cannot. He gets shut down by Astral, and... I mean, that was just a rookie mistake by Energy. I don't know what he was thinking. Maybe too much confidence. But you cannot get killed destroy. hungry with the bomb. You have got to play the objective and get the bomb down. The so your team has a better bomb chance acquired. at winning the round. And as you can see, Astral's happy about that last kill. He knows the mistake they made. And I'm just flabbergasted by what just happened. Now it's very surprising to see NS not with a sniper rifle because of their presence as a sniping team. And they're so dominating in that aspect. But they have just decided to go all out right here just because of the rivalry. And Astral sees his teammate go down right there. Killed the guy that was weak. Headed back. I'm not sure where the guy was that just shot him in the back. He is a warrior ninja of some sort from the island of Hikabashima, but he is gone. They can't even find him. And I believe, I'm not sure if they're gonna go for A or B, but it looks as if Astral is going to B, even though his teammate is headed over to A, but he has to hurry up because there's only 20 seconds left. And I believe Orbit is the last one alive, if I'm not mistaken, he is. The bomb has been planted. Yesterday, he had posted on his Twitter account that he had dislocated his thumb the day before that, so two days ago. And he is staying in this game because he wants to fight for his team's honor against basically just the rivals. And he sees someone running right there. He cannot finish the kill on him. He's going to duck and make sure that he can get quick and clean around the corner. And I, can we please stop, stop trying to play tricks on me, all right? Stop trying to troll me on my own video. This is actually what he wrote on his Twitter. And as you just saw, Orbit got turned on really bad by Astral. But apparently, he dislocated his thumb. He was extracurricular Search activities boys and girls keep that in mind and we are actually going to run straight into an interview with astral after those last two dominating rounds astral how are you feeling oh you know i'm feeling real good so after those last two rounds 
trying to pump up my boys over here and, and get our heads back in the game because we need to tie this up and we need to take this home. It's about time to put uh, NS on the map. Boy. All right. Well, Astro's over there feeling pretty confident about uh, his team's they abilities and the their mindset now. It looks like they're picking up the pace a little bit. And hopefully they can get back into this game and uh, show Zeno that they can't be counted out no matter what. And a lot of kills being traded right here. Another two kills. And we are very... We're getting to these kills very quickly. I mean, there's no sitting back. There's no time to rest. It's very fast-paced. This is what you love to see in Search and Destroy. And in this situation, Desire is on a five kill streak. He's trying to be very careful. Make sure he gets his streaks for the next round. It could be very helpful to his team if he gets that kill streak. And he actually calls out to Astral that he's in trouble. Astral picks up the kill and he picks up the double kill for the two piece in the kill cam. But once again, you don't get to see it because you weren't there. But anyway. Ooh, look at that pretty new camo. Just kidding, that camo's not that Anyway, objectives. Four, four. And charges acquired. NS has won three straight rounds to bring it back and basically put Come themselves on, in a down. good position Stay to come back down. and win this game. And as you can see, Astral gets sniped there. He is a sniper. He knows he should be more careful about that. And it looks like Assault switching it up too, putting away the Good MA job. and taking out the A in 94. You saw him pick up the quick kill in the train, and his teammates helped him finish off the round right there. This is actually one of the fastest played search and destroy games that I've seen. Search and destroy. It's ridiculous how quick everything is getting done. We'll destroy stick on board here with Assault, because he had that really big first round with that 1v2 clutch and then in the third round we had Astral's 1v3 and I mean what else can be done in this game maybe a comeback by NS but for right now we see Xeno locking down a side assault picks up a quick two piece and if I'm not mistaken, he hears someone in the train and he bangs them through the wall for the third kill of the round. Can he pick up the ace? This would be one of the biggest rounds in this video's short-lived history, seeing as how it's the first episode. He sees the guy go down and he gets the ace. This is just a magnificent way to start out this episode. And if you have any clips that you want to do a commentary with me, shoot me a message. We can get it done. I'm Dubsy. Peace.